Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 17 says, A wicked messenger falls into adversity, but a faithful envoy brings healing. And so as we take a look at this text of Scripture, uh, we're looking first at a wicked messenger. But what is the message that he's carrying? I want you to understand it's not his own message. And we see that very clearly from uh, the second part of this because it says a faithful envoy brings healing. And so what does that mean, a faithful envoy? It means a representative representative, or as the King James correctly translates it, an ambassador. So the message that they're bringing isn't their own message, or it shouldn't be their own message. But the wicked messenger, as the wicked messenger comes about, he, he's not interested in the one he's supposed to be uh, representing. He's not interested in being an ambassador. He wants to portray his own message. He wants to do his own thing. He wants to say what he wants wants to say, and he wants his own personal message to get across. And so as he does that, he is really committing treason against the one in whom he is representing. He is committing treason as an ambassador. And so as we look at that, we recognize that he is wicked. And the result of his wickedness, what's going to happen as a result of that, is that he himself is going to fall into adversity. Now, absolutely, he's going to fall into adversity with the one in whom he is misrepresenting, but he's also probably going to fall into adversity uh, with the one in whom he is delivering the message to, because ultimately, they're going to find out what the correct message is. Well, hopefully, they'll find out what the correct messenger is. And so, as we look at this biblically and begin to understand that, friends, there's a lot of false preachers out there, and there's a lot of false false teachers out there. And there's a lot of people who misrepresent the word of God. And as they misrepresent the word of God, you better believe, friends, that there's a day of judgment that is coming. In fact, the Bible tells us that God would not have many of us to be teachers, knowing that we will endure a stricter judgment. And those are absolutely going to endure a very strict judgment as they're misrepresenting God, as they're supposed to be representatives of God, they're supposed to be uh, they're, they're supposed to be there uh, representing His message and ambassadors of Jesus Christ. But instead, they're giving their own message, they're giving their own ideas, they're giving their own theories. And friends, that's why it's important for us to know the Word of God for ourselves and to understand the Word of God for ourselves. Because when we hear those lies, when we hear those things just simply aren't true. We're going to know them for what they are, and we're going to know the truth, and the truth is going to set us free. But you better believe those false prophets and those false teachers, those false religions out there, they are absolutely going to be held into account accountability. They're going to come into adversity. Now, whether it's this life or the life to come, we don't know yet. It may be this life, but it's most certainly going to be in eternal life that they're going to receive that adversity. But a faithful envoy, or again, a faithful representative or a faithful ambassador. He brings healing. He brings healing because he's bringing the right message. He's bringing the right word, not his own, but God's. And God's word, God himself, brings healing. Friends, when we are proclaiming the truth of the word of God, we better know that we know that we know what we're talking about. We better know that we're representing God correctly. We better know that we're not leading people astray. The way that we do that is we're in tune with God and the Spirit, but we know the Word of God, and we are proclaiming the Word of God and proclaiming it accurately as a faithful envoy, representative, our ambassador of Jesus Christ. That and that alone is going to bring healing.